Welcome to today's Simplicity Specialty Training. Today's training is on collections statuses. The page that we're on right now is called the home screen. This is the first screen that you see when you log into Simplicity. You can also get there by clicking home. Okay, to get to collection statuses, um, what we're going to do first is we're just going to take a look at an account and I'll show you where collection statuses appear on your claim details page. Okay, so this is the area that we're going to be looking at today, how to add a collection status to the account so that it shows up in the drop down. Um, we do get a lot of questions about this feature because there are two steps and if you only complete one of the two steps, it will not show up in this drop down. Okay, so we're going to go to settings. We're going to go to collection statuses. Okay, so you can see here that we've got quite a few collection status types. Collection status types is the first step. So what we're going to do is um, we're going to create basically what is a, a folder essentially. So if we, if we, for example, select bankruptcy, we've got chapter 13 and chapter 7 within this bankruptcy collection status type. This is the actual collection status. So if we were to do Okay, if we insert a new collection status type, and again, it's essentially a folder, we'll click Insert. Let's go back to an account really quick, and I'll show you. This is the part that, um, that we get a lot of questions about because we have, we've entered our collection status type. However, it's not going to show up in our list because we don't have any collection statuses under our status type. Okay, so if we go back to, to settings and collection statuses, we've added our specialty training uh, collection status type. If we select this collection status type and enter a new status, and click insert, we now have a collection status under our collection status type. Okay. So if we go back to our accounts, and we take a look at the drop down now, okay, so our new status shows up now that we've done both parts of that. Any questions about collection statuses? Okay, we're going to go back to our collection statuses and I'll show you just a couple more features um, of our collection statuses. You do have the option to have one automated status. So for example, if I were to check this box, this says change all accounts to closed when the account balance equals zero dollars. You can click Submit, and that will make that change throughout your system. There's, um, you, could, you can have the option to choose from any one of your statuses here, and it is based on balance. So if I wanted to do our specialty training status when the account balance reaches $50, we can click Submit, and then that will be applied system-wide. You can also do greater than or less than. So once the balance, um, I'm sorry, reaches an amount greater, I'm sorry, less than $50, then you can, um, you can have an auto status. So um, in collections, that would possibly be an auto status of um, wrap-up account or something like that, follow-up. You can have an automated status that way. So that can come in fairly handy when you are um, trying to do all this uh, manually. That's just one option for automation. When you're creating collection statuses under your collection status type, you do have the option to have the status automatically close the account or zero out the balance. So if we have one like this, we can have this particular status zero out the balance. So once this collection status is set on the account, the account balance will automatically zero out. 
if we had a closed collection status, sorry, we can check this box. When this collection status is set on the account, it will mark the account as closed. And then when you filter your accounts, if you use this open status filter and filter for only open accounts, none of your closed collection statuses will appear in your results. Any questions about any of the features for collection statuses? Any questions about adding collection statuses in general? I I had a question regarding that whole closed thing that you were just showing. Um, yeah. On the on the ones where you tell it to automatically zero out when you uh -huh. hit closed, where, when you run reports later, where does that money go? Where do those dollars come from or go from or disappear to? What categories will it, it remove it from? So um, I don't know that there's a specific category that it removes it from. I believe it, it honestly just zeroes out the account. So if it shows us anything, it would show us an adjustment on the account, um, showing that it zeroed out the balance. Otherwise, I think that, um, and we can certainly try this out real quick. Um, what this Does the adjustments do apply to specific categories? When you make an adjustment, it'll say to principal mm -hmm. or to, so I'm just wondering if there's a $20 balance, will it make the adjustment and remove it from, where does it remove it from? That's what I'm wondering. Sure. Well, let's take a look. Okay, so our current balance is $576.92. So if we save this particular status that we've created that should zero out the balance, we go to our financials. Okay, so it, it says adjustment to principal, settled in to full. Principal. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yep, and that's and really, if I don't think there was any interest on this account, um, if it were to zero out the account, it would probably go category by category. So adjustment to principal, adjustment to interest. If there were interest on this account, it would show um, it would show two adjustments. It would just automatically adjust to whatever money's left over. Correct. Okay. All right. Great question. Is there any other questions? I kind of have one. That's, it's a very detailed question that probably doesn't apply to most other people. Um, in our specific business, we had uh, thirty percent. Or thirty percent is added to the amount that uh, we're given, and we need to find out how to get the thirty percent back from the original. And I'm, I'm sure there's a simple method to do it, but when you put it in here with the thirty percent already added, which is how we receive it from the companies. We have trouble with the software communicating that, or we're inputting it wrong. Okay, so um, I for example, our our take is our take is the thirty percent off the top, but we don't know what the original number is. And trying okay. to do the math, it it puts it off strangely on the computer. Okay, um, I would be happy to assist you with that outside of of this training. This training is um, specifically for collection statuses. So if you want to go ahead and, and post your PIN number in the chat section, I can give you a call right after the training is over. Okay. Okay. Any, any other questions about collection statuses or um, settings for statuses? Okay. We'll go ahead okay. and conclude today's training. Oh, go ahead. Where do I? Um, where's your little chat section that I can make a note so you oh, can call me after you speak with him? <laughs> sure. <laughs> so there's a little chat bubble up at the top. It looks like a talking bubble. If you um, click on that on your join.me um, toolbar okay. up at the top, you can go ahead and chat any information, and then I'll go ahead and get back to you just as quickly as I can. Okay. Thank you very much. Not a problem. All right, we'll go ahead and conclude today's training. Thanks so much for attending, and we hope to see you next week. Thank you.